Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you for Wednesday, the 11th week in Ordinary Time. And today's first reading is one that I really wish we got to hear during Easter, right? Uh, but because we're always hearing from Acts of the Apostles, we don't get these great Old Testament readings. But I think you'll catch the connections uh, quite quickly. That we hear of Elijah being taken up to heaven as his disciple stands and watches. Right? And Elijah, this great figure that we expect to come again, or was expected to come again. Now we have Jesus, whose disciples stood and watched as he was taken up into heaven, and we long for his return in glory. Right? Okay, there's a lot there. But there's a detail in this story that I think is even more significant. That before Elijah is taken up, Elisha asks him to pour out double his spirit on Elisha so that he can continue Elijah's work. Double his spirit. Right? That's also repeated within the ascension and the pouring out of the spirit. That we hear in the Acts of the Apostles that people trembled around the disciples. They trembled around the apostles. That you know people had reached out to touch Jesus' cloak. They were longing just to stand in Peter's shadow and that the early church did some pretty tremendous things in the name of Christ. That that spirit poured out upon them drastically altered the world. And it's that same spirit, that same double portion that we receive today. Right? Now, that's not to say that we're better than Christ. That's not what a double portion means here. But that we have received double this incredible amount of the spirit of Christ, the Christ who transforms the world. Right? Now, I'm not expecting to go out and miraculously heal anyone. Right? That's not what I think the Spirit of Christ will do in me. Um, not that it couldn't, but I'm just not expecting it. Right? But this is also the Spirit of Christ who could say, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they're doing. That could heal people of so many different wounds. And we live in a world that needs a lot of healing and a world that is usually kind of deterministic, that people seem to think that, you know, ah, uh, no one ever really changes and that's just how things go. But the Spirit of Christ really does alter it, that it can, in fact, cause people to repent. It can, in fact, bring healing into people's misery, into their difficulty, that it can heal the brokenhearted and reconcile the estranged. That is the Spirit that we have in good measure flowing over. So I ask you today to consider, what are you gonna do with it? What are you gonna do with this double portion of the Spirit of Christ to heal the world around you? How will you be the hands and feet of Christ to reconcile the broken, uh, broken relationships, to heal the brokenhearted, where will you heal the world today? Thank you, and God bless.